How's it going, everyone? This is version 1.4. This has got the new characters, Jing Liu, Jing Liu. It's a destruction character, which is ice. It's kind of pretty nice. Didn't mean for that to rhyme. Uh, let's see. There's like the 3D model of the character. Oh, wait. Doesn't look right. Hold on. Okay, so you can see your eyes here, but you can't see it in the model. Huh. Uh, they got like a video of like, just I guess kind of like her walking and some other stuff. Um. Okay. Oh, damn, you want looks crazy. What the? Yo, that's actually pretty cool. I've been actually saving up a lot of my wishes too, so. That actually looked really clean. I kind of want to see that again. That was like crazy. I always liked the ice look too. Let's see it again real quick. Yo, the sword. Yo, this part right here. Let's see it again. Oh, what the, the like backflip with it? Yo, that's actually pretty sick. Um, what else is there? Topaz and Nummy. Oh wait, I didn't even read to whoever wishes to learn my sword play, I will teach them. Damn, I'd be down. See that crazy stuff? It's sick as hell. Oh, I never actually wanted the characters. Right? One of the legendary heroes making up the High Cloud Quintet and bestowed with the title Transcendent Flash. Having ascended beyond mortal concept of victory, she chose to walk a different path to obtain the power capable of slaying gods. Damn. Thereafter, one sword champion of the Lua Fu was removed from Jian Zhao's records, and thereafter, one sword champion of the Liu Fu was removed from the Jian Zhao's records, and one nameless traitor was added. And period was added again. Huh. This is Topaz and Nami. Topaz and Where's the other person? Okay, they're fire and they're part of the hunt. Okay. Fire hunt person. Damn. Money is a means, not an end. Work should make you happy. That's the most fundamental principle. Okay. It seems like she is very money based. So <laughs> I see the gold coins flying around. You can. That's what she does. She makes it sound like you don't need money, so she gets the rest of it. Hill pass senior manager of the strategic investment department in the Interrastral Peace Corporation. And leader of the Special Depths Picket Team. Damn, that's a lot. Already a member of the Ten Stone Hearts at a young age, Topaz Core Stone is the Topaz of Depth Retrieval. Her partner is a Warp Totter Nummy. It's also capable of acutely perceiving where riches are located. It can even perform jobs involving security, debt collection, and actual, actuarial sciences. Presently, they are traversing the causal together, chasing down various depths and liabilities that negatively influence the IPC's commercial ventures. So let's take a look at this. <clears throat> okay, I, you know, I actually like the look. Oh, there's the trotter. Oh, is this like the alt? Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh, wait, this is the all. What the? What was that? Like, to the moon? Like, the stocks? Damn. Do we go a 3D model? Oh, it actually runs around with you? That's actually so cool. Oh, she's five stars. Okay, that makes sense. Huh? Uh, that should just like a four star or something. That's actually pretty cool for a four star. Gyan Guanafin. But Guan Guinefin. Guinefin? Guan I I don't know what I said earlier. Oh, oh my god, that was bad. Uh, that was so bad. Uh Guinefin. Guinefin? Nihility and fire. Nihility. Uh would you like to see me break the stone slab on somebody's chest? What? An outworlder who ended up residing in the Jianzu by accident. She's now a, what do you mean by accident? She's now a passionate and vivacious street performer with a real name being Jean Nerve. Gionifin is the Jianzu name given to her by her good friend Xu Shang. Okay. Feast with a whole new life on Lofu. 
and relying on her adoration, adoration of Jianzhu culture, Gwenefen quickly learned skills that would keep her clothed and fed, okay, such as slurping noodles in a handstand, smashing slabs without harming the people it was placed upon, catching bullets with bare hands, and so on. Oh, wait, wait, she was a combat role? Gwenefen is a support character who can inflict burn on enemy targets, allowing the increase the damage taken by enemies suffering from burn. I didn't even know there was a combat role. Topaz. Topaz operates with their work partner Nami in battle. Nami will automatically attack enemies with, while Topaz can enhance Nami's damage. In, in exploration, Nami will move with Topaz and can discover unobtained treasure. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. It's a DPS character that <clears throat> enhances her own attacks by entering a special state in battle. She utilizes a special state to strengthen herself, have her action advanced, and use powerful abilities. Let's take a look at this. Oh, that's probably like the street performing act. This is her in battle, try to E. This is probably the alt. And. Okay, that actually. <laughs> that was actually kind of nice. And then, oh wait, is Seelie coming back? Yo, I'm gonna probably wish for Seelie, man. She is insane. To use her strength to create a fair society, isn't that the obvious goal? Character story, I feel like we already know. It was until that girl appeared. Yeah, there's not much to really be said. Oh wait, I never saw the character model. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Pretty nice. Character model, I'm pretty sure we've all seen it, but... Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Side speed can also take take an extra action after being an enemy target. The light cones. I shall be my own sword. Brilliant fixation. I shall be. Like... Oh, it doesn't really say what it is. But it, or it doesn't really say what it does. Okay, that's for that. And oh, in the night, it's probably coming back because I see he's the wearer is crit rate by eighteen percent. So the wearer is in battle for ten. Is in battle for every ten speed that exceeds past a hundred, the damage of the wearer's basic attack and skill is increased by six percent. No, every ten, and the crit damage of their ultimate increased by twelve percent. This effect can stack up to six times. The crit damage of their ult is increased by twelve percent, and that's six times. Yo, that's fucking crazy, man. Well, then the wears basic attack by six times six. Damn. Story. Oh, what. A future market and companion mission. Future market would be the next trailblaze continuance. On the eve of Bellabog's soul warm festival, a messenger from the interest. Oh, let's go. This is going to be the next chapter. This is going to be great. Let's go. And the companion mission. Uh, clouds leave no trace. I guess this is. I guess all we've got so far. Events. Realm of the Strange, during the event, challenge Cavern of Corrosion to receive double rewards. You'll get an additional reward on top of the default drops. After consuming the event, double reward opportunity and trailways. Okay, double rewards. Oh, wait, was there a play button on that? I don't remember. Okay, there's no play button. What's the, what the hell is this? Content and development not indecisive of the final product. What the hell am I looking at? Are you just gathered into this fighting? It kind of looks like so much of the boxing thing, but I'm not too sure. Well, I guess I tell you, the most influential online gaming brand in the universe, Theory Wars, is holding an offline interestral tournament festival for fans on Irilo compete for the championship with the Aether Spirit. Aether. Okay, that's not too bad. Planner. Infinity, the new simulated universe event is about to begin. Heard on the three other genius simulated universe. Had some tiny renovations to the simulated universe, but each of them threw a spanner in the works. The code was all messed up, and the program began to expand endlessly. Okay. Let's see. What are the changes? Planner Infinity. <clears throat> okay, so just like a bit of tweaks to the thing.
Okay. Gift of Odyssey. Checking for seven days during during the event to claim Star Rail Special Pass. I think I'm pretty sure that's going on right now. Planner Fisher. During the event, show players can receive double planner ornaments. Okay, okay, that's what double event for that. And that's what I was looking at before. Okay. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. Environment visuals. Pillars of creation. 700 years ago, the engine of creation cross arose from this place. Now 700 years since then, the people of Elabog unite here once again to toil for freedom. Is this like a graphical update or did they like, or is this a new area? Or are they just showing off or something that was like already made? I believe the place looks different. I don't remember seeing something like this. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be really dumb if I've seen this already. Old weapon testing ground. 700 years ago, the autumn moat assembly lines were essential for Belog's heavy industry. The technology that had been long forgotten. Not bad. And what's this other stagnant shadow shape of Scourge? Clear the stage to obtain fire type character essential material. Okay. Oh, that's probably for the new character that's coming out. Probably, I'm assuming. Story recap function added. If you're listening, I'll select the story recap button at the top left corner during the story dialogues to replay the previous story dialogues. That's okay. Quality life. Strategic training system added. Trailblazer can learn about the game's combat mechanics via interest. Play Space Guy or Peace Guy. Accessible from the game's top right corner. Complete the tutorial to paint Stellar Jade. Okay, let me take a look at that. And yeah, that's uh, about everything. Not too bad. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.